Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do an organize with me. We got a new dresser in our guest bedroom and I wanted to just organize all of our gift supplies, like all of our wrapping stuff down there. And today, so we are going to spring training this weekend. We are gonna go watch the Padres and then on our way there, we're gonna stop at the river. And so Andrew and I are leaving tonight once he gets off work, but the kids got to go early with Andrew's parents. So they picked him up this weekend or this weekend, they picked him up this morning and took him out there. So I have had this day by myself and it's been so nice to just kind of relax and recharge. It's been nice and quiet. I stopped by two estate sales right when they left. I like headed out the door and I went to these two and I found a few little things. So I'll share that with you guys. I only spent, I spent like $25 total, not much. And those are just so fun for me to go to. I just, that's like the best thing ever. I want to share the updated bathroom with you guys, our kids bathroom. It's looking so cute. All I have to do is find some artwork and I'm waiting for the rug to get in here in the mail. But besides that, it's pretty much done. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and let's get into it. All right, entering the bathroom. So the floor, I can't remember where we left off in this video, but the flooring is done. And that is because it'll be the same wood color as Owen's room eventually. So that's why that is there for like a little piece but it turned out great. I feel like I already filmed this as I'm doing this, but I can't remember now. I put this little wooden um, decor item. I found this at an antique shop so long ago. I had nowhere to put it. And now this is the perfect spot. So I need to find some like little trinkets to put on here. It has to be stuff that's not breakable in case anything falls, but I had that tiny little candlestick. And then I cut that picture and then this little one out of a um, Mother Goose Rhymes book that I have. And then I just glued some uh, card stock behind it so it's a little heavier. And then that my mom had sent us. So I'm gonna put a little key there, but pretty cute. Uh, here are the handles. Owen helped me, he was so helpful. I was just so grateful. And they turned out so great. The silver ones, like just not good. This is. I feel like it looks so much more muted now. Like it just kind of blends a little better. And these cabinets are really filthy. So we really scrubbed them down. Um, so the rug here is going to be like a wine-ish burgundy color and ivory. Really cute, like a runner right there. Um, but other than that, so I, I painted this little strip along the medicine cabinet so that when you walk in, you don't notice it as much. And then I was also thinking, let me know what you guys think. I could maybe paint this silver gold, like use some gold leaf, because I do have some. I wonder how that would look. I can try it, but the tile looks great. Just has like that reflective look to it. And it's in the antique white color. Um, and then I put the glass on the light bulbs. I do want to get some light bulbs without that base white on there so they just are you know just a clear bulb but that looks super cute and then the shower curtain is up really turned out cute though it's just pretty ivory gauze and then that um pole like the rod is from amazon and same with the hooks i like these hooks they're just like a little bit different than the typical shower hooks they're a little more simple and then i do have a plastic backing behind it so I'll show you um, what I found at the antique shop, but that's what I was gonna put up here for the two pictures. Here are the frames I was talking about. I got both of these for like $2 each. I think they're so pretty. I'm gonna paint that green, I think, like a burgundy color. It depends on the prints that I get. I would like to get something with some color. Um, let me know what you think for the bathroom. But I'm thinking I'll do them like vertical, like this, side by side. And then I could do either like a botanical floral print. I also saw some cute like kids ones. It's like vintagey ducks. I just don't know if that might be too young for the kids. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put in these. And then I'll probably have, I'll probably do like a digital print and then have them printed on 
like a heavier paper so it looks a little bit more real. I found two of the cutest little books. This one is called The Essence of English Life. And this house that I was at, they had so much like stuff on the royal family and English, everything. It was pretty cool. Look how cute this is. So it tells you, if you are interested, in all this stuff that the English do. And I think this is just like a cute little read. Um, Bluebells talks about a country weekend. Roses and silver, homegrown produce. Pretty cute. The other one that I got was called The Royal Tour. That one right there. I just love that color. I'm really into that wine color. So I might keep it there. I might move it. I'm not sure. And then I found this little dish. Wow, really dirty on there. Um, isn't that sweet? There it is, the back. So, yeah, I thought that was a fun little find. This is where I keep a lot of our, like, kids' chapter books. And then I found this. And guys, you hear that? Is that actually wine in here? I cannot believe this. Look at this. Okay, it's made in England. And I always love looking for little crocs, but I had no idea that some actually have liquid inside of this. That's crazy to me. So this house had so many old English things. So started Pride and Prejudice because I was reading, I started, um, We Were the Lucky Ones, another World War II novel, but just too heavy. Like I just read a World War II novel and I just needed like a little break. So it's time for a little romance. I've never read this before. I feel like I should know this story in this book, but I don't. So that is what I'm going to read. I actually have a whole list of like classic books that I want to read. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave them for me and I will add to my list. And then I found a few Christmas items, some ornaments. I got this little Santa. They let me just have this little basket too. How cute is he? This little one. The tag on it still. And then look at this little basket. And... This little cinnamon, it's like cinnamon sticks. So sweet. And then Andrew's mom was at an estate sale the other day. She's the one who got me on to estate sales. Like I owe it all to her. These beads guys, I am so in love with these. Oh my gosh, she sent me a video and she's like, so I saw these beads and they reminded me of you and I picked them up and I was like, thank you so much. Look at these. I'm going to put these all on our Christmas tree. I actually have like one strand of these. And now I've got a whole bunch. So these will be on our entire Christmas tree coming this December. And then she got a few little ornaments too. She has the cutest ornaments on her tree at home. And I'm always like, where do you get these? And she said a lot of them are just um, like whenever she's out. And she sees them, she'll get them. So estate sales or anything like that. So now I'm always on the lookout for little ornaments. Now I just love getting little handmade ones too. Or just old ones that have some story to them. So yeah, look, $3.50. Just, you can find like the cheapest things. That one was seven. This one's like a big one too. Um, and also, like I was at the estate sale on the second day. So typically they mark things down more as each day goes on. So everything that I bought was not full price, which is great. We are in the guest room. So I have a new dresser that I wanna share with you that I put it in our closet down here. So Andrew's mom got it for their house, but it didn't work. And so she said, do you have any use for this? And I was like, honestly, I'll put it in our guest room closet, use it as storage. And it's so perfect for like our gift wrap. So I stuffed everything in there because my parents were in town and I was like, I just need to get everything clean and put away, but now I wanna really like go through it and organize it. In the top drawer, I'm thinking we'll do like tags, cards, and tape. And then in the next one, <laughs> this is all of our ribbon. So I'm wondering if there's like a way that I can store my ribbon. This is just like crazy. Down here, I'm gonna do tissue paper. And then in the bottom, this is just boxes. And then on the other side, 
These are stems that I'm currently not using. I just have them in this bin. I don't really know what to do with them. Um, down at the bottom, we have gift bags. So I kind of like those there just because I can see them, but I might take those and put them up here so I can just have them more in view. And then over here we have wrapping paper in this tall thing. I've been loving though, just using um, craft paper for wrapping. Like we did the cutest wrapping for the girl's birthday party they went to. We did this with some different color yarn. I might even bring the yarn. We have all the yarn in our craft closet. I might bring that in here. Um, but I just think yarn's really cute to use for bows. Okay, I found this in our craft closet. So I thought I could use this and like roll up one of the ribbons and then you can just like pull it out. So we're gonna try that and see if that works. Okay, this, like talk about a project that you've been putting off. I don't know how, honestly, all these ribbons ended up like this. It's like the little white part that goes in the center just came out of all them. I can't remember if it was me. It could have been a child. I have no idea. But either way, it's just been haunting me and I'm like, I just need to figure out a solution to this. <clears throat> I was like pretty well into this and then I started thinking I should just use some scissors and cut some of it once I'm, once I'm pretty far in. So I did that with some and I just like really bunched it and I tried just to like kind of compact it together and just push into each of these little sections and that little tin thing, but it wasn't quite working. So I really did have to roll it around my hand and stick it in there. I, ha I saw on, I did a little like quick Pinterest and Google search to see some ribbon storage ideas. One of the problems with all of the organizing trends is like it's great to organize, but what happens is a lot of the time you end up buying a bunch of stuff and it's just filling your house with more stuff. So if you're super intentional and you really desperately need that, then of course I think it's super necessary sometimes to kind of group things together and consolidate. But I think before you do that, just check out what you have in your house and see if you can rework some things. Uh, you'll see pretty soon I realized I need a few more organizers for my tape and whatnot. And I just, I scan my house. I like go in cupboards and just check out what I can rework. And so I ended up finding a couple that were in the medicine cabinet and I just found a different way of storing those that would still work fine, but allow me to have some more bins to use for my ribbon. But to be honest, this was kind of a Zen, um, 30 minute project in this room. I, I think, I'm trying to think if the kids were home when I filmed this or not. I don't, I don't know actually. I don't think they were because I feel like they would have been coming in and out of this room, but, or maybe no, they might've been a quiet time. That's probably what it was. And I just like locked myself in here and did this. Either way, it was just so kind of like I got in the zone, I turned on a Oh yeah, did I have a podcast on? I don't know, I don't know why I'm rambling about this to you guys, but you just gotta get in the zone when you're doing an organizing project. And also for myself, I have to really be in the mood. If I'm not, I just won't do it. Like all of a sudden, I'll be in the mood to organize a random cabinet and I have to jump on it or the feeling will leave. So I have to just take advantage of that. Snack break, Kyla's in here with me. Here's what we have so far. Here's some spare ribbons. I rolled up as much as I could into this bin. And then the ones that were just like out of control, I put in here and then you can just pull it from the end. And then I put the velvet ones together. And then this one, same thing.
over here. We've got all our colored ribbon. All, most of these came in a huge pack. That's why there's so many colors. And then I have some other ones sprinkled in, like a few of these velvet ones are in here. And then I put this um, bigger container of green velvet there. A lot of these I love to use for decorating for holidays, for Christmas. Like this is what we used on our wreaths two years ago, and this was just left over. And then last or this year, this past year, we used like this dark brown velvet, which I have a little bit left over, but I love just switching out the ribbon for decorations. It's so much more inexpensive than like changing out all your decor. And then this is just kind of spare leftover ribbon that I keep. And then over here is like satin like thin satin ribbon that I think is really pretty for decorations. We use this for baby showers. Um, I have my friend's baby shower here, so it was Winnie the Pooh themed, so we use a lot of that for, for that. And then I have some tool. So I wanted some more storage bins and then I was like, oh, you know where I have some? In the medicine cabinet. So I knew I had these two. So that has led to now organizing all of our stuff. So I figured I'd take you along with me on this organizing journey. I love how this looks over here. It's just it's like kind of messy. I put all my little tinctures here in order of height. And I think it looks so nice. These are all of my herbal little tinctures from Mary Ruth's. We've got lymphatic support, pumpkin seed oil, oil of oregano, elderberry, kids focus and attention, and women's menstrual support. And in the back, we've got vitamin C, kids or toddler iron, kids vitamin C, and gluten digestive enzymes, which I absolutely love. This I got like after we got pretty sick. I think it was last winter I got that. Or maybe it was this past winter. I honestly can't remember. Um, here's where I keep all of my like backup things. I ha always have my digestive health. So I have the three in one daily women's health, which is what I'm taking right now. And then this is just the three in one daily digestive health. Um, slightly different ingredients for that. And then, oh, I'm out of this, actually. This is the systemic enzymes. I love these so much. And then I just put a new zinc over here. So we've got my zinc that I put in the kids' um, shots, vitamin shots sometimes. Here's my little section. This is like stuff we use daily that I like to have on hand. Another thing that's helped me out so much is this B12, super low in B12. And then in here is where I keep our probiotics for the kids. It's just a liquid probiotic and I just use like a dropper full for their drinks. Like if they're drinking juice or something, like we have some pineapple juice, I'll just put this in it. It doesn't taste like anything, but they're getting their probiotic. So um, this one has a little bit left. So that's why I have two in there. If you guys want to stock up or are out of some Mary Ruth's products, my code is still active. It is MROKENDRA20 in all caps. You can use it on their website and you can use it on Amazon. Also, our chicks have moved into the guest bath shower. <laughs> they are getting too big. And I'll insert some clips because we took them outside for the first time yesterday and let them roam around the grass and they totally loved it, but they're too small to be out in the coop yet. Sorry, I don't want to scare you. Hi. Hi. Hmm. Hi. Okay, it's sleepy. Yeah. 
You get some good reading in? Yeah. Good. What chapter are you on? Um, I think 10. Okay. Hi, little girlies. Hello. we've got our itch area so bug bites i am so prone to getting mosquito bites they love me so here's some bug spray here are our benadryl sticks this is like a it's crazy high heat that you put on your bug bites and it works so well and then we've got aloe vera we've got sunscreen here these are all like eye and ear drops do like two drops of each okay and then we've got some ointment here yeah i'll get you some more Skincare probiotic, that's really great for any sort of like, um, if you get a cut, I spray, I spray this for so many things. The list of things that you can use this on is so large. Look at this. No, seriously, this stuff is amazing, especially for the summer when you have like weird stuff from um, water. Love that. This is an out spray made from like different. Uh, I don't know which one to grab. Oh, I'll get them for you, buddy from different essential oils. And then this is active skin repair. This is great for other things too. On this side I have, these are the um, allergy, why do I always forget how to pronounce this brand? Boyron, Boyron? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I have allergy ones and cold ones, our thermometer. Oh, that's Kyla's, um, that's to comb her hair. Cough drop, lollipops, some cough syrup. This is what I usually buy the Highlands kids. I bought that strong Robitussin because I don't know what it was. I needed something like really strong. Not right now, sweetie, in a minute. Okay. But usually this is all I get and I take this too if I need to just cause it's so like natural. Chest rub, allergy stuff. Okay, extra things are up top and then down here we've got our tinctures, our digestive enzymes. Good news two things in here little containers so we've got tape over here wire i love having this on hand for christmas time it's so handy for garland and stuff we've got a ton of envelopes cards cards so many envelopes from like uh, christmas cards that i had extras from and then this is obviously um gift tags and then down here I added some more twine and then I have some of this too that I use to hang things up around Christmas time. So I'm gonna roll some more of this up right here. 
and I will add that in on top. That is gonna be the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.